Hey everyone, it's um, Thursday, January 4th. I actually have, uh, I believe, seven college basketball picks today, so let me run this down. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I've got South Florida. They are actually a five and a half point favorite uh, against Temple. Um, South Florida has been, uh, they've been pretty hot. They've won five straight. Uh, four of those at home. One was a neutral game against Florida State. Uh, they're averaging 86 points a game during that stretch. Uh, Temple just has not been scoring. Um, it came off, uh, they actually had a little bit of a break. I think it's been 10, 11 games since their last, uh, or 10, 11 days since their last game. Um, but they're, they played that three day tournament out in Hawaii. Um, they end up, um, they averaged 57 points a game and allowed 70. Um, so it just, I don't see how, uh, Temple actually, uh, keeps up offensively. I just can't see it tonight. So um, South Florida, five and a half points they're giving at home. Seems like a pretty good, pretty good uh, match here. Um, Towson and uh, Monmouth. Um, the line is 130 and a half, 130.5. I am taking the over. Um, Monmouth's average game is over 140. Towson's is around 133. Uh, interesting thing about Towson is they actually have uh, the slowest pace in in college basketball. So normally I don't do overs with you know someone that would have that slow of a pace. Um, but they've been f- uh, efficient offensively, and they have the second best offensive rebounding team in college basketball. So their misses, they're you know obviously getting off the rebounds, getting putbacks. So they've been scoring uh, 80 plus uh, lately in a number of games. So um, again, when I add up all the you know. Especially how they played recently when I had them up. Uh, 131 is not too much to ask. Um, <clears throat> game three is uh, Central Connecticut and Stone Hill. Uh, the total is 140.5, 140 and a half, and I do like the under here. Uh, it's the bad offenses and uh, mid to slow paces. Uh, Stone Hill has uh, regularly uh, lately been in the uh, you know, mid 50s to low 60s. And uh, so I was looking at that. So, well, if Stonehill at 60, does that mean, uh, you know, Central Connecticut's got to get, uh, you know, 81 to get over? But I looked back uh, in their Division I games, they only had 81, 81 different or one time this year. Um, so it seems like a pretty good bet for an under. Um, game four is actually Green Bay at Detroit Mercy. Green Bay is giving two and a half points. Um, and uh, this is honestly just simple to me. Uh, Detroit Mercy is 0 and 15, and they haven't even most games are not even particularly close. And I am honest to God, didn't even look at the numbers. I'm just like, you're 0 and 15, you're getting smoked by people. Uh, Green Bay's it's only a two and a half point favorite, even though it's a road game. Uh, I'm taking it for that reason, that reason only. It's really simple. Uh, yeah, Detroit's got to prove they could win a game before I actually would. Uh, you know, again, it's two and a half points. Um, game five here is actually Little Rock. They are at home against uh, Southern Illinois, uh, Edwardsville. Uh, Little Rock is a three and a half point favorite. Uh, it's a couple of uh, pretty decent offenses and, and some bad D's. Um, uh, Little Rock is consistently, again, they're hitting 80 plus uh, points, uh, and SIUE has only hit that one time. Uh, against a D1 team all year, which coincidentally was Detroit Mercy. Uh, I, so again, I don't see SIUE actually keeping the pace here. Uh, Little Rockets, three and a half points. I'll take it. Um, game six is James Madison. I am taking just the team total over. It's 80.5, 80.5. Um, so they're averaging 91 plus, uh, which is like third in all of college uh, basketball. They just consistently over 80. It's every game, it's 80 this, 80 this. They run that fast pace. They shoot twos and threes both well. Uh, they're actually 26th in the country in uh, two point percentage. And Louisiana is um, uh, 306th in defending the two. Um, and James Vance also doesn't turn the ball over. I think they're in the top 30 or 40 or something. And so I just, I, everything just adds up to James Madison having, you know, another 85 to 95 point game. Even though it's on the road, I'm not really terribly worried about that. So 81 is not that much to ask. Uh, seventh and final game is St. Mary's and San Diego. Uh, total is 133.5 or 133.5, and then I'm taking the under. 
Uh, it's basically it's a couple of uh, if you look at their uh, you know the shooting percentage or at least their effective shooting percentage. Um, both teams are sub 200, uh, and then they're both their defensive efficiencies are both uh, top 100. And of course, St. Mary's is just uh, they, you know, they had that kind of a rough start to the season. They've turned around in December. They're holding teams at an average of 54 points a game. Someone was in the 30s. It was crazy. Um, so my guess is again, you're looking at what they hold. At worst, they hold San Diego to 60 points. Uh, could St. Mary's get 74 and get over? Sure, of course they could. But uh, that would be St. Mary's having a you know a really bad offense or a bad defensive game for that to happen. So. Uh, so seven games in total again in South Florida. Uh, I like to cover Townsend um, Monmouth over Central Connecticut Stonehill under uh, Green Bay cover uh, Little Rock cover uh, James Madison team total over and then the St. Mary's San Diego game under. So uh, end up going um, out of seven games. I ended up going. Uh, I'm sorry, out of nine games yesterday, I ended up going five and four. Uh, it was looking pretty good. Uh, had, uh, I missed the Indiana team total over by one bucket, and they had 19 turnovers in that game. It was just embarrassing. Uh, so, you know, one fewer turnover, they're, they're probably going to hit it. And then that St. Joseph choke was pretty bad. They're up 13. I uh, actually lost the cover. They actually lost the game outright. And then I missed the team total over by one bucket. Again, they kind of choked out a 13-point lead in the second half. And then I think they went like seven minutes and scored like four points or something crazy. Just uh, uh, That's college basketball. It happens. Uh, but still, ended up being a winning day. So every day's been a winning day this month so far. And uh, got seven here, so I'm hoping to go at least four and three and keep the ball rolling. So thanks to everybody.